he's the greatest and richest basketball player of all time, having accumulated a massive fortune from sponsorship and business deals. But how does this big-time billionaire baller spend his money? Here are the top 10 ridiculously expensive things Michael Jordan owns. Number 10. An Addiction to Cigars Yeah, probably not what you were thinking you'd find in this video, but MJ actually owns a ridiculously expensive addiction to some of the finest cigars in the world. In fact, during his interview with Cigar Aficionado, MJ revealed that by the early 90s, enjoying these high-end Cuban cigars had become a pre-game ritual. MJ also confessed that after retiring from the game, he began smoking six Partagas cigars every single day. Each one of these cigars runs about $20, which means that he spent approximately $800,000 over the past 19 years. Now that is one expensive addiction. But hey, who are we to judge? After all, these cigars have become something of a trademark for this legendary boss of a basketball icon. And besides, for MJ, $800,000 is pocket change, especially compared to what else he owns. Number 9. Exotic Sports Cars It's only fitting that MJ would want to drive the fastest and most powerful sports cars in production. This started way back in 1984, when MJ picked up a Chevrolet Corvette, which he liked so much that he soon comped three more Corvettes, along with three Porsches and at least five different Ferraris. But the most ridiculously expensive car that Jordan owns has to be his Bugatti Sang Noir, which cost him a cool $2.25 million. As far as performance, this Bugatti is off the charts, including 1,000 horsepower and 1,250 pound-foot of torque. This Bugatti is so freaking fast that it can do 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds, with a top speed of 252 miles per hour. There are actually only 12 of these Bugattis in existence. When you factor in the 20 plus other exotic cars in MJ's garage, his entire car collection is worth over $5.5 million. Number 8. Grove 23 You've probably never heard of this ultra-exclusive Florida golf course, which is exactly how MJ wants it. In fact, this Hobe Sound golf course is so exclusive that there are reportedly less than 100 members including former President of the United States Barack Obama, as well as other celebrities like Mark Wahlberg, Ken Griffey Jr., and Wayne Gretzky. Jordan first acquired this sought-after piece of property in 2013 for $4.8 million, and then invested another $7.6 million into development. Four years later, in 2019, this invite-only club finally opened. Formerly in Orange Grove, Grove 23 is set on a beautiful 226-acre picturesque piece of property, equipped with a state-of-the-art clubhouse and amenities. Grove 23 even has a drone delivery service to bring members beer and other refreshments in the middle of their round of golf. Members also have super-fast golf carts that can go up to 35 miles per hour, as well as an on-site cigar roller. This course is so incredible that caddies are even given their own golf scooters so that they can easily keep up with the action. Number 7. Michael Jordan Family Medical Clinics These four state-of-the-art clinics, which are located in North Carolina, provide health care for low-income families. Initially, MJ pledged $7 million to open two clinics in Charlotte, where its most vulnerable citizens can go to receive treatment even if they don't have health insurance. And these clinics are far from basic. We're talking about a 6,800 square foot facility equipped with 12 patient exam rooms, an x-ray room, and space for physical therapy. These two first clinics were so well received and so valuable to the community that two years later, Jordan announced he was investing another $10 million to build two brand new clinics in Wilmington, which is where he grew up. This brings the total MJ is invested into medical clinics to $17 million which is money that is making a big impact in these two North Carolina communities. One might object and say this isn't something that MJ currently owns, but this kind of giving means that he owns peace of mind in the knowledge that his money is making a difference. And we think that that's priceless. Number 6. Sincoro's Tequila Nowadays, it seems like every celebrity wants to get in on the alcohol business, especially tequila 
including The Rock, LeBron James, and Kylie Jenner. After all, George Clooney eventually sold his tequila brand, Casamigos, for a whopping $1 billion. But when it comes to star power and the ability to move product, there's no one on this planet who can compete with MJ. And in this case, it looks like Mike is truly committed to producing super high quality tequila as he reportedly tastes every single batch to ensure it meets his elite standards. And it better, because this stuff isn't cheap. Jordan owns Sincoros with four other NBA owners, and considering they've already managed to sell 1.5 million bottles, we're putting Mike's share of this high-end tequila company at a very conservative valuation of $20 million. Number 5. His Residences First, there's the famous 56,000 square foot Highland Park mansion just outside of Chicago. This luxurious palace was built and customized for MJ, including a cigar and poker room, a 15 car garage, an indoor regulation sized basketball court, and a big number 23 iron gate. The only problem is that Jordan has been trying to offload this mega mansion since 2012, when he first listed it for $29 million. But no one wants this huge Jordan monstrosity, even after MJ dropped the price to $14.8 million, nearly half of the original asking price. And of course, the frigid Chicago weather and high taxes aren't helping. After 10 years, MJ eventually decided to take it off the market. MJ also owns a $12.4 million, 11-bedroom, 28,000-square-foot mansion in Jupiter, Florida along with two top-floor penthouses in a luxury high-rise in downtown Charlotte, which are worth approximately $5 million. Jordan also owns a six-bedroom, 12,000-square-foot mansion in Cornelius, North Carolina, valued at approximately $4.5 million. He also had a mansion in Park City, Utah, but sold it in 2020. So, if we assign the Highland Park Mansion a value of $14.8 million, this brings the value of MJ's known residences to $36.7 million. Number 4. A G550 Gulfstream Private Jet Of course Michael Jordan has his own private jet. On his come up, MJ flew commercial like everyone else had to. Yet at this point, MJ is as close to a god as any human. And let's be real here, he simply wouldn't belong on any type of commercial aircraft. But MJ doesn't have just any private jet. After all, the silhouette of his airness is forever immortalized flying through the air via his namesake, Air Jordan logo. So it's only fitting that he soar through the sky in style. MJ's $61.5 million custom private jet is equipped to transport up to 16 passengers in comfort and luxury including three living areas and a stylishly updated elephant print paint job modeled after its Air Jordan sneakers. Number 3. Joy Joy is the name of MJ's $80 million mega yacht. And yes, it's every bit as luxurious, extravagant, and over-the-top as you would expect. This super yacht is new and modern, having been built just six years ago in 2016, and it encompasses 230 feet, five decks, seven cabins, a private office, a state-of-the-art gym, and yes, you guessed it, a basketball court. Joy can easily accommodate up to 12 guests, in addition to 19 crew members. But as incredible as this yacht is, its value is only about half of the next most ridiculously expensive thing that MJ owns. Number 2. 2311 Racing Unbeknownst to many, MJ has always been a huge NASCAR fan and has been keeping close tabs on the sport for years. In fact, Jordan had the chance to meet Richard Petty at the Charlotte Speedway back in 1982 after he won a national championship in North Carolina. Close to 30 years later, in 2010, MJ requested to meet the NASCAR driver Denny Hamlin at a Charlotte Bobcats game, and this would ultimately form the basis of 2311 racing which was launched 10 years later with Bubba Wallace, Ty Gibbs, and Kurt Busch driving its two Toyotas, number 23 and 45. In fact, Jordan is actually the first black NASCAR team owner in close to 50 years. And Jordan didn't waste any time in bringing his competitive drive to win to his new sport, 
as just a year later in 2021, 2311 and Wallace took home first place at the Yellow Wood 500 in Talladega. Wallace then followed that up in 2022 with an impressive second place finish at the Daytona 500. And get this, after these top placings, 2311 Racing reportedly has a valuation of at least $150 million. Pretty crazy, right? But that doesn't even come close to the most expensive thing Jordan owns. Number 1. The Charlotte Hornets It doesn't matter if it's basketball, NASCAR, business, or even playing cards, MJ loves to compete. So the idea of him just retiring and sailing off into the sunset was never going to happen. He wants to be in the heart of the action, and there's no bigger way to make that happen for a former player than by owning your own team. MJ grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina and graduated from UNC Chapel Hill, so it's no surprise that he had his eyes on North Carolina's NBA basketball team. In 2006, just three years after his last season with the Wizards, Jordan was able to acquire a minority interest in the Charlotte Hornets, which were then named the Bobcats. Then, four years later, Jordan paid $180 million to acquire the Bobcats, including 97% of the team's equity. At the time, MJ said, Purchasing the Bobcats is the culmination of my post-playing career goal of becoming a majority owner of an NBA franchise. Fast forward 12 years to today, and the valuation of every single NBA team has skyrocketed, including that of the Hornets which are now worth an estimated $1.5 billion, making MJ a billionaire and easily making the Charlotte Hornets the most ridiculously expensive thing that MJ owns. But you know what's not ridiculously expensive at all? This video right here. The top 10 times Michael Jordan humiliated his opponents. You can watch it right now and it won't cost you a penny. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click it right now.